For manufacturing companies, it is important that their purchasing module meet the following objectives. It should allow you to enter purchase orders at the best possible price. It should allow you to enter purchase orders as efficiently as possible. It should allow you to email purchase orders without resorting to another program. It should allow you to display or print an overdue purchase order report sorted by vendor. It should also allow you to display or print purchase price variation reports to measure your performance. As you can see during this video, PCMRP achieves all these ob objectives and more. First, let's enter a blanket purchase order for 100 bearings per month for the next six months. Let's select Modules, Purchase, and New. Enter 100. Let's enter BE for bearing and then press Enter. Select the bearing. Here, PCMRP has highlighted DigiKey as having the best price at this quantity. Notice PCMRP has filled in all the information for the purchase order with the exception of the date required. So let's enter it. 12-12-2012. I can add another line item by clicking on the Add button, but we want to create a blanket PO. I could click on the Breakdown button and enter odd quantities and odd dates, but I'm looking for an even simpler method. So I'm going to click on the Cancel button and click on the Clone button. Here I enter five clones separated by one month each and I'll press the OK button. Now I press the items and notes button and voila six line items separated by one month each. I'll click on the finish button OK and yes to print out the PO. Here I can send the PO to display, print, or email as a PDF file. I can select a standard or custom report so I'll select custom, display, and press OK to print out the PO. Here you can see the custom purchase order contains a logo. You can see the purchase order contains all six line items, all produced with just a few couple, a couple of clicks of the mouse. Now I'll hit the X box and uh, produce the terms and conditions sheet. The terms and conditions sheet can be set using configuration, settings and utilities, option 83. I'll click on the X box again. So if I'm a purchasing agent, the first thing every morning, I want to look at my overdue purchase orders sorted by vendor. To do so, I will select Modules, Purchasing Reports, and I will select All Records, Overdue Only. And I will sort my vendor so that I can make just one phone call to each vendor that has one or more overdue orders. Once I've called my vendors, I can hit the Cancel button to return to PCMRP's main menu. To check out PCMRP's Purchase Price Variation Report, select Modules, Accounting, Reports, and Purchase Price Variation. Let's compare our, purchase, our purchases against the standard costs, selecting Display, and press the OK button. Good enough, it looks like I saved my company $400 compared to standard cost. I'll hit the X button to return. And then hit the Cancel button to get back to PCMRP's main menu. PCMRP has many more, very, many more valuable features. PCMRP's Infinite Bucket MRP module can automatically create purchase orders. To automatically create purchase orders, I would select Optional, infinite bucket and automatically create POs. PCMRP can automatically import price quantity breaks from DigiKey, Mauser, Ally, TTI, and Avnet. To view a video covering this feature, click on the Advanced Features link button on PCMRP's MRP 101 page. PCMRP also supports automatically receiving customer POs through EDI. Well, I hope I have convinced you that PCMRP can help streamline your company's purchasing operations.